Hi there. Today we're going to tell you more about the G-RAID Mirror desktop hard drive. In this video, we're going to show you how to access the internal disk drives as well as how to change the default RAID mode of the G-RAID Mirror. The G-RAID Mirror ships with two Enterprise Class Ultrastar 7200 RPM hard drives available in a range of capacities. To access them, remove the front cover by locating the two positions marked with three raised dots on the upper corner of the front cover. Simultaneously press on them with your thumbs and gently apply downward pressure. The front cover should easily slide off. Once the front cover has been removed, you'll be able to slide out the drive trays if needed. To remove the drive tray, push the lever on the right hand side of the drive tray with your thumb and gently pull on the center handle of the drive tray with your fingers. If for any reason you need to replace hard drives, you will need to reuse the drive tray, so make sure the drive tray with the hard drives installed and reinserted back into the G-RAID mirror and the front cover is replaced before reusing the device again. The G-RAID mirror ships in RAID 1, which automatically saves a second copy of your data on the additional drive. If you prefer, you can switch to RAID 0, which allows you to fully utilize the capacity of both installed drives. When changing RAID modes, it's important to note that the process is data destructive and all the data on the drives will be lost. So make sure you have everything backed up safely before proceeding to change the RAID modes. To switch from RAID 1 to RAID 0, begin by unplugging the power adapter cable on the G-RAID mirror to turn it off. It is necessary to have the unit powered down before making any changes. To reconfigure the RAID mode, use the dip switches located on the back of the drive. G-RAID mirror by default is in RAID 1, so both dip switches are in the lower or off position. To select RAID 0, move both dip switches to the upper or on position. With a paper clip or similar small item, Press and hold the RAID mode setting switch, and while holding it down, plug the power adapter cable in. Keep holding the RAID mode switch for about 10 seconds until you see the LED blinking white rapidly. Notice the unit will not turn on during RAID mode setting. Once the front LED has confirmed the process was successful, unplug the power adapter cable from the G-RAID mirror. Wait a few seconds and then power it back on. This step ensures that the RAID mode's change takes effect. Lastly, you'll need to format the drive since changing the RAID level is a destructive process. The drive will need to be reformatted to be usable again. Whether used in RAID 1 to provide the maximum level of data protection or in RAID 0 to offer the highest performance and fully utilize the available storage capacity, the G-RAID mirror is your safe place to create. We hope you found this video useful and it helps you get the most from your G-RAID mirror. 